Hi everyone, welcome to the video on how to add modules to your UNM Learn course. In this video, you will learn what a module is and how to add them to a content area in your course. We're going to start in one of my courses, which is a space I use to try things out. In this course, we're on the course information page, and you can see that a module has already been added to that page. Modules are ways of organizing and sequencing your materials. You can tell your students where to find the materials relevant to Module 1 by putting them all on a Module 1 page. Then they can click on the module, as I'm doing now, to find them. So here we are in Module 1. You can see that there's a table of contents on the left side, which shows all of the items that are in the module. And then the items themselves are in this content space here. Students can click any of these items to access the content that you provided to them in this module. So that's what a module looks like. Um, we're going to go back to the course information page. And now we're going to see how to create a new module. What you want to do is go up to the Build Content menu and then select Learning Module. So that takes you to the Create Learning Module page. Um, you can give your module a name. I'm going to call this Module 2. You can also add any text you would like that would appear along with the name of your module. And I think with Module 1, we saw that it had dates. So I'm going to go ahead and add that here to kind of follow that pattern. So we'll say that this one is January 27 through February 2. And I think in the other module, it was also in bold. So I'm going to highlight it and use the little button to make the text bold. So down below this text area, there are some other options, ways that you can configure this module. Under Learning Module Options, you'll see that you have an option to enforce sequential viewing of the module. So you could actually ensure that your students only see the materials in the order that you put them in there by enforcing sequential viewing. It's set to No by default. If you wanted to, you could turn that to Yes. There's also an open a new window option, um, which is set to no. Generally, you don't have to have a module open in, in a new window, but you could if you wanted to. And then there are standard options. Permit users to view this content is set to yes by default. If you did not want to show this module yet, you could change it to no. You can also leave it on yes, but select a date and time to open the module and to close the module. So you would just add the display after date here and the display until date here. And finally, at the bottom of the page, you have settings related to the table of contents. By default, uh, the module is set to show a table of contents, but you could turn that off if you wanted to. You probably noticed that when we looked at the example of the module, there was a table of contents on the left and then your content items on the right. So that's what's going to happen by default, uh, but you could take away the table of contents if you chose. So once you have these settings the way you want them, you click Submit. And now we have a new module, Module 2. So that's how you create a module. Thank you for watching this video. You can check out the other videos in this series by going to the Center for Digital Learning channel on YouTube. Thanks.